Hello everybody and welcome to a new channel, I guess. This is my video production agency that's hopefully going to be live very soon. Um, and I'm just going to do a behind the scenes of what I'm doing today. I'm shooting a music video for a band called The Tracers, based here in Sheffield. Currently in Doncaster actually, but we are in Sheffield. We rented a garage at um, a big car garage um, to shoot the music video and sort of going hectic nothing but thieves kind of vibes with the video. Welcome to Sco Media. This is so exciting for me. This has been in the works for a while. This is probably going to be the first video on there officially. Um, I mean, yeah, I'm just excited to show you my life and how I work behind the scenes, the setup how I shoot, the edit, all that kind of stuff. Super excited to show you. So basically there was no real setup for this shoot. We basically turned up, rented this big apartment, big apartment, big, ga big garage, Smoke machine, lights, strobes, and just went for it. I don't know if you can hear me, but we've messed up. I brought a speaker that's too quiet. That aux can't connect to anything. We've had to put the speaker on the guitar and connect it to the amp. So play this! So the idea with the drone was to use it more as like an FPV, but it's not an FPV. So basically just messed around with it, flew it fast, sports mode, circles, just sort of wherever we could to make it look good. Also on the FPV topic, um, not having an FPV, I thought it would be quite interesting to try hand holding the drone and running with it <laughs> to see if it worked and honestly the results are pretty good so all of this is obviously raw video raw recording and um, it looks nothing like what it does in the final but the music video is now finished i will link it either up here or down here and you can see it now I wanted to do the majority of this recording um, handheld. I did have my gimbal with me, but it just didn't suit the vibe that I wanted to go for. And shooting handheld just, just gets you in different places and gives just a better feel to the music video like this, in my opinion. So just finished the first section of the shoot. The guys are setting up again now to do, I think it looks like a fly through with the drone when they're all set up in the view. So basically just gonna fly my drone into their heads and see what happens. But the footage looks sick so far. I will show you some. Yeah, can't wait to edit. So I think in a place like this, it's good to have like multiple options on where to shoot. And then you can sort of get different shots and make it look like you've got more options than you actually do. Anything to say for my first YouTube video? Wait, first. Anything to say for my first YouTube video, guys? Your first YouTube video. Subscribe. <laughs> so, just finished the Tracers performance shots. Still got the storyline and stuff to finish, but yeah, good. Sweaty. <laughs> really, really sweaty today. Uh, it's like 30 degrees in Sheffield, I've been running around, um, you'll see the footage. I've been running around with a drone, running around with a camera, setting up, it's been hot, lots of lights, lots of heat. But it's been a really good day. Three, two, one. Yep. So the second part of the shoot was Michael, the main singer's idea. He wanted to sort of include an old video that we did and carry on from there. So the idea is basically that he swapped the suitcases with someone and in the end he has both suitcases. Um, it's a bit more evident in the actual music video but that is a low down on it. 
So we had to get an actor, um, which luckily was provided from his work, and he was really good at his role. And we had to find a location. We shot in Callum Island in Sheffield, which is perfect for what we needed to do. It's industrial, it's a bit grungy, and that was the feel that we were going for. And then we shot some scenes in his car, driving around Sheffield, shooting a bit of B-roll and stuff like that. And honestly, it, re it worked really well in the end. The guy absolutely loved the video, and I really like the video as well. Uh, thanks for watching. It's honestly like still quite new to me doing like YouTube talking about my job and my life, but subscribe, like, all that kind of stuff, and I'll really appreciate it. Um, I've shot a lot of this kind of stuff now, um, just not really got around to shooting it. There's probably about probably about eight videos. There's some for Red Bull, some weddings, some other music videos, some property stuff, all behind the scenes and um, vlog style, and I can't wait to share with you.